Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading for mid-September to mid-October. This is not the general reading for Libra season. This is just a little extra reading. Um, and we're going to do it differently than we've done in the past. In the past, we were just looking at the other person's energy um, and seeing where they were. Now we're going to look at your energy first with oracle cards and get like overall advice from spirit, um, overall energy for the month for mid-September to mid-October. And then we're going to clarify with tarot for the extended. If you would like to get a little bit deeper into the reading, um, you can get the extended on Patreon by becoming a patron on Patreon where you get all of the extendeds every month. Plus you get exclusive twin flame readings and you get to be a part of the meditation and Reiki healing circles that we do every week. Um, or you can go to my website and order the reading individually. Um, so let's just get started. In the extended, we go a little bit deeper into your energy and clarify even more and just kind of get some advice and see where you are. So whether you're single or taken, this reading can be for either. Um, but then we also look into the energy of the other person. Woo. Hold on a second. There's something that popped up on my computer. Um, we also look into the energy of the other person, either the person that you're dealing with during this month or during this time frame or um, whoever's coming in to your life. Okay. Um, so your advice and overall energy is love abounds. And this is actually the Ace of Cups in the traditional tarot. So, and the Ace of Cups for me is more of a feeling like, um, self-love. Filling up your own cup first and foremost before we give and fill up to anybody else. Fill up anybody else's cup. Because you need your cup to be full before you start giving more of yourself, you know. And that way, if your cup is full, you always know how to keep a full cup, right? Even if you are giving. I feel like you also have some pretty big opportunities right now. To get, get the more out of life that you've been wanting. Because I feel like with the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, you've been building something for yourself. And I feel like like with the Page of Cups, this the Page of Cups for me is like, I want more. Um, could you just give me a little bit? Like, I'm not even asking for much, right? So... For me, the Page of Cups here is really saying um, that you are providing that more. And with the Ace of Wands, sorry, there's somebody that's laughing out in the hallway. And it literally is like a witch's cackle. Like, I can't, it's so distracting. <laughs> and I can't, like, like, maybe they'll go away. I don't know. But <laughs> so anyways, the Ace of Wands is um, that gift from the universe of like a spark, like kind of this aha moment or this um, spark of passion, spark of creativity. But I feel like with the three of pentacles, you're, you're um, building something new. So you're loving yourself enough to build something new and come out of the lack mentality that you've been in. Right? Like not allowing yourself to beat yourself up anymore, if you will. Um, some of you are going to accept this universal gift. Some of you are going to keep sitting in that woe is me state. But um, I think the vulnerability factor here is huge. Like you've got to open yourself up and be vulnerable to everything that's changing in your life and allowing the changes to happen. So we have the five of pentacles. After the Ace of Wands, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Fool. And Gemini, what's really interesting here is 
we jumped from the three of pentacles to the five of pentacles. Like if you started something in the past or you were able to get something off the ground, build something from the ground up from the past, and it hasn't really come to fruition in the way that you've wanted it to, or it hasn't really happened because the three of swords makes me feel like you're very heartbroken. And I feel like this might have been a relationship that you had in the past that didn't, like, it was a catalyst for you into some sort of awakening, whether you're already awoke or whether you're already woke or not. It was like you ascended. There were there was a lesson and a reason why you had to go through what you had to go through. And the fool is asking you that regardless of what your past is showing, regardless of this five of pentacles and three of swords, the fool is saying, but can you still be vulnerable? Can you still allow yourself to take that risk of vulnerability? Because being brave comes from being vulnerable. Being courageous comes from being vulnerable. But getting hurt also comes from being vulnerable. So even though being vulnerable means that you are doing something that could possibly catapult you into your next journey, into your next ascension, right? Being brave and being vulnerable, although that's one side of it there's also another side of it where you could possibly get hurt and that's usually where we like end up freezing like we end up paralyzed because we're afraid so afraid of getting hurt you know and so the vulnerability factor we're like no i can't do that and i and i feel like the past or the lack mentality of you know and, and the past stuff coming up um when that's so present, when the feeling like you're not good enough is still very, very present for you, it's hard to be vulnerable. It's hard to trust. But Spirit's advice this month is saying, fill up your own cup. Focus on yourself. Focus on your growth. Focus on what the universe has for you. And everything else will fall into line. Okay? Um... Just a couple of things. Um, I will be doing the general readings this week. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, there's only one week left for the personal readings openings, and then I'm going to take a small break. So if you want to get a personal reading with me, they're 20% off right now. Everything's on my website. Also, um, the meditation and Reiki healing, the Libra New Moon ritual, um, live ritual um, that is all on my website as well as the self-alignment course I love you guys take really good care of yourselves right now because I do feel like you have some really amazing things coming up and allowing yourself to really focus on that journey and knowing that you have amazing things coming up and that nobody can get in your way nobody has nobody has power over your emotions but you Right? So you know, but knowing that and leaping towards that, that's the key right now. That's really the key right now. So I love you guys. I'll see you, see you in the extended and I will see you for October readings. Bye.